Greetings, everybody, and welcome to this YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Barker, and today I'm just doing a little sound check while I talk here. I am this YouTube channel. It's working. I'm going to be showing off the locations for the upcoming adventure kit, the Battle for Arctur's Vault. I'm going to talk a little bit about our process, um, up to and including the what we're what this location's dock is titled. Uh, C O H. You can't see that there, but I'll I'll discuss what um, a little bit about how Absolute Tabletop makes RPGs on the best of days. Uh, we always find ourselves kind of like fudging through it. <laughs> you can see right here, James is doing an edit pass, so um, it'll be uh, it'll be fun to see what he does while I'm in here. He doesn't know I'm doing the stream either. Uh, ooh, he changed breathing into inhaling. That is a clutch edit. Absolutely brilliant. Um, as you know, the Battle for Arctic, you're, you're a backer. That's why you're seeing this right now. Or it's the, the book has already come out and we're just opening these publicly uh, because we're ready to. Um, you might see some errors. You might find, you you're, you might see, you're definitely going to see some things that are going to change. Um but a big process that, uh, or a big part of our process in Absolute Tabletop is a phase, a draft, a, a draft phase called the cohesion phase. This is one of many different draft phases. When I say that, I mean, this is a draft of this document, a first draft, second draft, whatever it could be, but there are different drafts. A lot of tabletop RPG publishers will do a first draft and then they will do a second draft and then they will send it to the editor and it'll be virtually finished. They're going to add art to it. They're going to, um, that's fine. They're going to add some art to the, the book. They're going to, um, make a, a couple adjustments here and there, depending on how things go. Uh, then there's an errata phase in which more will change. And then when all that's done, they send it to the printer. We do all of that stuff, but instead of just having a first draft, second draft, we have multiple iterations. It's not just drafts, it's rewrites, and because that's how we like to work. We like to slowly iterate. It's more like a video game process than uh, a video game creation process than a tabletop RPG creation process. And so um, that's a uh, that's that's something that I think sets us apart. Uh, someone, Eddie Webb from Onyx Path Publishing, he helped us develop our process and mentioned that we do it a little bit more akin to a video game. Um, and so. There's obviously no chat right now because I'm doing this by myself to show you later. But um, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below uh, this backer update or shoot them to absolutetabletop at gmail.com with Arctur's Vault in the subject line, something like that. So let's talk about the locations you're going to see in this upcoming adventure kit. This is the cohesion pass for locations. So basically, this is the this is less of editing and more of get in here this is what i told the guys get in here when you're excited to when you're uh, when you're excited to read about this stuff not when you're like okay i got to buckle down and do some work but more like when you're feeling pumped when you're really feeling it when you want to add some creative juice some stuff that's when you're going to jump in here all right so first off we have the amelian orchards the amelian orchards are the big location in this adventure kit um because they're the large location in Adrian Pass, this region. If you have got our adventure kits before, you know that in Oath of the Frozen King, we did a dungeon. In Shadows Over Drift Chapel, we did a town. In this adventure kit, the Battle for Arctur's Vault, we are doing a region. So the, the scaling is a little different. So, for instance, in Shadows Over Drift Chapel, you have... Uh, the taxidermy shop, you have the profane chapel, you have these isolated locations within the town, and then you have one location th called the Streets of Drift Chapel. And it's basically, uh, that's the location that, that connects all the other locations, right? Because if you're leaving the taxidermy shop, you're entering the streets, and then you're going to wander around the streets, and you're going to get to the profane chapel. And uh, the streets themselves are going to be an experience Right, beyond it's not just okay. There are streets here, but there are going to be random encounters, such like that. The Amelian orchards serve that purpose a bit because the orchards are what divide all these different locations, all these settlements, uh, prominent uh, relics and objects, uh, important sites, uh, 
mobile uh, military bases, right? That's There's a location that we're going to talk about there. Um, to get from one to the other, you're oftentimes going through the Amelian orchards. So I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pick, I'm going to, I'm not going to go through this entire thing. So I'm going to read each opening and then I'm going to pick one sight, one sound, one sensation, just kind of go over, uh, don't you change wasp, bro. Magically imbued. All right. This is funny getting, we get to watch James get a little experiential here. Fun. Um, so the Amelian Orchards, Bountiful Fruit, Arcane Distortions, Strange Sightings. The heart of Adrian Pass is its sprawling, lush, life-giving orchards, plumped with ripe, vibrant fruits. Many magically nourished trees stand like curated soldiers in rank and file, while other areas are allowed to grow into wild brushland, perfect grounds for more exotic harvests. However, the recent arcane distortions in Adrian Pass generate wilder, uncontrolled thickets packed with volatile glow stalks, flora overtaken by unpredictable varia and sought relentlessly by vicious variophages. Threats are common in such places. There's information here that you would uh, totally understand if you looked at the prequel edition, but just in case, uh, first and foremost, this is all going to be prefaced in the adventure kit. And give or take, if you don't like the idea of flora that's magically imbued into this landmine, you can remove that and put uh, just a basic venomous plant. Um, the uncharted orchards. This is what I was just talking about, right? So um, these uh, these places are, the, the orchards are everywhere. And they're just kind of a, a term for not just the rank and file orchards, but also these strange growths. Um, that that have uh, that have overtaken settlements in the orchards, and so this is a large place. Uh, sites, uh, okay. Paths and creeks weave through periodically, intertwining, intertwining. Interesting word. Themselves into patternless roads and waterways. Small boathouse seems abandoned. This is going to be a really. This is going to be a good one to. Uh, to spice up. Let's go to sounds. Um, the intermittent, cry, intermittent cries of birds and the droning hum of magical pollinating insects. Uh, this is what I put here as wasp nest, some sort of like a basic encounter, some sort of encounter in italics after this. This is a, um, this is a different sort of thing that we've done in previous adventure kits small little italicized text everything gets a little encounter if you'd like completely optional um made so if you use all of them there will definitely be quite a few um oh my gosh this is public i didn't mean to make this a public video crap i guess we're i guess this is public and i'll have to edit it afterwards to unlisted hello viewers if you're watching wow oops okay hello uh, the Battle for Arctur's Vault is our upcoming adventure kit. You should tr check it out on Kickstarter. It's on Backer Kit right now. I'm going through some uh, stuff right now. You can see James is editing. He doesn't know I'm streaming now, which is kind of fun. Um, sensations. Uh, the pungent smell of a famed weed commonly used for healing properties. Uh, harvest the seeds. I like that one. A strange breeze helped on by the shade of the canopy above cools you. In it, you hear the subtle popping of magic and your hair stands on end. This place really is arcane. Um, we're going to put some clues here, a little table of clues. These are, these are, this is a little updated from our previous adventure kits. Uh, these are the, we kind of colloquially call these micro tables, small roll tables that we put in every uh, book or in every adventure kit, but we're kind of leaning into doing them a little bit more. Uh, and even leaning into some of the D and D terms, perception, arcana, athletics, just to kind of show that if you wanted to, you could uh, really, you know, could drive home an athletics check in order to help uh, save someone from these toppling trees. Or only through a perception check will you see that there are three full loading crystals. This is why we have the cohesion phase. These are now called varian crystals. 
Um, see, this is exactly the sort of cohesion we're looking for. Because sometimes you lose an old term in the new doc. Sometimes you called someone Colonel Frill for so long that you forget that you changed it to Major Frill. Right? So, um, oh, okay. Hey, all right. How funny. Uh, hey, everybody in the chat. I say everybody in the chat. What's up, Josh? Hey, Tori. No problem. Welcome. This I meant to do this as an unlisted video for our backers. Um, and so I'm going to I'm going to actually do that. I'm going to switch it off right now. And I don't know, it feels weird to show this to non backers. And so I thank you so much for tuning in. Check out the Battle for Arctur's Vault. You can see more of these locations that we're going to be putting in the adventure kit. Uh, I am going to if, if you did back this already, please keep your eyes on the backer updates. I meant to, again, I meant to do this unlisted so I could share this to the backer update today and instead accidentally went public for everybody. So I love you. Don't take this the wrong way. Uh, please consider backing. It's it, Go to the Battle for Arctur's Vault on Kickstarter. You can find it on Backer Kit and you can back it there. Uh, outside that, I will talk to you all soon as backers and uh, everyone else hopefully sooner rather than later. Godspeed.